I thought today would do a quick beginner tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can add a button to your UI and assign an image to that button. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock the canvas here. We're going to click this little pencil icon. You can also hit F4 on your keyboard to toggle this button. We're going to right click. We're going to select add new button. And let's zoom in a bit here. So here is our button. And this is the default appearance for buttons in highs. I'm going to go to my desktop. I've got a folder here called demo. And in here, in the images folder, I've got an image called six state button. So if you're going to create a button image, it needs to have these six states. So it's going to have an off state, an on state, an off pressed state. So that's when the mouse is clicked on it, an on pressed state, an off hover state when the mouse is hovering over the button and an on hover state. And you need to make sure each of these frames is evenly spaced, just like this image here. So back in our project, we can unlock the canvas again, select our button and scroll down to here where it says film strip image. And if we click open, it will take us to the images folder of our project folder. And there's that button image here. So we just select that and click OK. And then we need to go to this box here, num strips, and change that two to a six. So this is the number of frames in the image. So ours is made up of six separate frames. So I'll hit enter on that. And we can see that the image is not quite aligned. And that's because this button size does not match the size of the image. So let's just check the size of our image here. So we can see it's 200 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall. That 300 we need to divide by six because we've got six frames. So that's going to be 200 by 50. So we'll just make sure our control is set to that same size. So we've got the width here, we'll set that to 200. And we've got the height, we'll set that to 50. And now there's our button. So as we hover the mouse over, it changes the off and uh, off hover state. And we can click on it, so it's off pressed. Now it's on hover, I move the mouse away, it's on. And I click on it again, and it's on pressed. So that's how to assign an image to your button. And one extra thing you can do, if you want to make this half the size, so it's 200 by 50, but let's say we want to make it 100 by 25, we can come down here and change the scale factor to 0.5. And now we get a button that's half the size, but the image has been scaled down. This is really useful if you're using high resolution images. So you want this to display really nicely on say a 4K screen, but also show nicely on a 1080p screen. So you can use images that are as twice as large as they would be at 100% normally, and then just scale them down like this, and it will look great on all displays. I hope you found this quick tip useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.